Welcome back everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to install or upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11, even if your hardware doesn't meet the system requirements. We'll be using Rufus, which has recently updated its software to bypass the Windows 11 requirements check. So let's get started. Let's open a browser and search for Windows 11 ISO download. Click on the first link that appears. I left the direct link in the video's descriptions. Once at this page, you should see this heading for current release Windows 11 2024 update version 24H2. Scroll down and find download Windows 11 disk image. Click on the drop down menu and let's select Windows 11 multi edition. And then click on download. Choose your product language and click on confirm. Then select the 64 bit download and the ISO file, which is around 5.4 gigabyte, will start downloading. While the ISO is downloading, let's open a new tab and search for Rufus. Click on the first link. And once at this page, scroll down to the download section and let's click on the latest version of Rufus, which is 4.6. It's a small file, so it should download quickly. And once both downloads are done, let's open Rufus, navigate to the download folder, and let's double click on the Rufus.exe. Select yes to allow it to run. And you should see the Rufus dashboard. Let's go ahead and connect a USB drive with at least 8 GB of space that you want to make bootable. And make sure it has no important data as everything will be erased. Your USB drive should be automatically detected. If not, click on the drop down menu and select the correct drive. Next, under the boot selection, click on select and let's locate the Windows 11 ISO you downloaded. Select it and click on open. Once you select the ISO file, the partition scheme and target system will be auto detected based on your system configuration. You can also change the volume label if you want. I'll call mine Windows 11 space 24H2. And now click on start. A new page will appear where you can customize the installation. Now this is the most important step. The first option is to remove the requirement for 4 GB RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. If your system doesn't meet this requirement, make sure to keep this option checked. For the second option, remove requirements for an online Microsoft account, which basically allows you to create a local account instead of an online account where you have to create an email. So I'll just select create a local account with username and type my username as techwise. Now, if you want to use your existing online Microsoft account, make sure to uncheck this option. For the third option, set regional option to the same values as this users. This means that the installer will configure the regional settings such as language, date and time format, and keyboard layout to match those of the current user. Fourth option, disable data collection. Those are the privacy questions you get asked during the installation, so keep it checked. And the last option is to disable the BitLocker automatic device encryptions. Leave this checked to disable the BitLocker encryptions. When ready, click OK. Rufus will warn you that all the data on the USB drive will be erased. Click OK to confirm. Rufus will now create your bootable USB. Once complete, if you open the file explorer, you should see it here. If you double click on it, you should see all the installation file needed. Now that your USB drive is ready, we need to boot from it. So plug it into the computer where you want to install Windows 11. Restart the computer and use the BIOS key to boot from the USB drive. 
Here is a list of common BIOS key for different manufacturer. Since I'm using an HP laptop, I'll be pressing F10. Select your USB drive from the list and press enter. And you should see the Windows 11 logo, followed by the language and keyboard settings. Select your language and time format and click on next. Here, you'll be asked to install Windows 11 or repair my PC. Choose install Windows 11 and click next. If you have a product key, enter it or click I don't have a product key. From here, select the version you want and click on next. Accept the license terms. You'll see a list of partitions. If you want a fresh install and don't mind losing existing data, you can delete all partitions. Just be careful not to delete the USB partitions since we are using it to install Windows. Otherwise, install Windows on a separate partition, but make sure it is at least 25 gigabyte. After selecting the right partition, click on next to start the installation. Now, during installation, you won't see any annoying privacy pages or prompt for Microsoft account, since we selected to remove those options in Rufus. This should ensure a smooth installation without any interruptions all the way to the Windows desktop. All right, you have successfully installed the latest version of Windows 11 on your supported or unsupported hardware using Rufus. Now let's check the version. From the Windows search, type Winver And here you can see it says version 24H2. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.